Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing a little collection video today because I'm loving these at the moment. I'm loving showing you guys little snippets and little pieces of my entire collection. Um, a full collection video will be coming soon, um, especially before I do my sale so that I can show you guys all the bags. However, that those videos take so long, they are over an hour long and there's a lot of bags and a lot to get through even when I'm going fast. So I like to do these little snippets in the meantime. So today we are doing the Capucines video, the LV Capucines, because I have a little bit of a collection. I have five Capucines that I'm happy to talk through with you guys and um, show you guys as part of my collection. Uh, and I have been requested this video, so I thought it was time that I did it. My very first Capucines is actually the first one that I ever bought, which is this beautiful pink one. I think this color is called Magnolia um, in LV, and it's this kind of nude, dusty pink. It is a really beautiful color. I have to be honest, I don't wear this color much anymore. I used to be a real nude kind of girl, as in I wore a lot of nude colored outfits. Um, however, I've kind of moved away from that a little bit, and I do like bright colors and this is so muted that I just don't pick it up much so but this is in the BB size this is a favorite size of mine I switch between this and the PM size I have um, three different sizes in my collection um, which you guys will see this one has the silver hardware and I do love me a bit of pink and silver there is something so fresh and neutral about it which I really really like there's a beautiful Louis Vuitton Twilly on this. I can't remember where I got this Twilly from, uh, but it's got the label and everything on it. It's absolutely beautiful. I just really loved the pop of red with the nude color. And then the back, you know, it needs, I think it needs a bit of a wipe down. It's just looking a little bit dull. I feel like maybe it's just got years of dirt on it. I'm not sure. But, you know, it still looks brand new, even though it's a little bit dirty. There's no scratches or marks or dents or anything like that. Little bit of scuffing down here, because I have to say, this was my most worn capucines um, up until recently. So that is the first capucines. The next capucines is my gorgeous black one. This is in the medium size, so this is in the PM size, the size up, up from the BB. Um, I find this to be a really great work bag size. I just think that you can fit so much in this. You can fit diaries, you can fit um, little iPads. There's two massive compartments in the hot pink, which is gorgeous. And I've got mine in the Python handle, which is not as delicate as you would think. Um, I also added a Karl Lagerfeld little chain thing, um, keychain onto this, which I thought was super cute because I thought it needed a little bit of something. But this bag, I mean, I've worn this bag quite a lot and there's not really any marks, scuffing or anything like that. But this is a forever bag for me. I don't know if I'll ever move it on. I might one day, never say never. But um, for now, it is a really great staple. So absolutely love this one. The next bag I have talked about a lot, and it is my white croc capucines. This one, look, it's beautiful for holidays. It really has a vibe. But for me, I just don't think I like the shininess of the croc. I realized that when I got this, and sort of after this, I didn't really get many croc things in because I just knew that I probably wouldn't wear it. This is one of those bags that I kind of regret buying even though I love it and I love the look of it. I just don't pick it up. I always go for something else when I'm wanting a white bag. So that does tell me something. This is in the PM size. So this is in the larger size. I think I've got that right. I think it's PM then MM um, and then GM. I think that's the biggest. But in the Capucines, there's the BB, and I think this is the PM, the one above it. 31 centimeter, that's the one I'm talking about. I like to go by the measurement because sometimes people don't know what BB or PM mean. They know it's a small size, but it's like how small, you know? So measurements are always really, really good. So I always keep the strap and everything in there. This would be a great holiday bag, but I'm gonna be honest, I just don't use it. You can see it against me now. It is a really big bag. 
So this one might be going in my sale. Now I thought I had five bags, but I actually have six because I forgot one and I'm gonna slot it in now. And how could I forget this bag? I do not know because it is one of my favorite capucines and it is the neon one. I adore this bag. It looks great with what I'm wearing today. Neutral outfits, white, grays. This bag is stunning. It's a real pop of color. I wore this with denim the other day and it looked amazing. Really, really love this bag. I just, I mean, it's only a, quite a new bag for me, but I still love it so much. This one has um, some light gray slash off-white accents. I'm pretty sure it's a gray. You can sort of see it inside. And it also has a light pink lining, all in leather. That's one of the things I absolutely love about the Capucines is that it is full leather. It is a full leather bag, which to me just screams quality. This one has the gold hardware. Um, I don't have a lot of Capucines with the gold hardware, so I'm really enjoying the gold hardware. Actually, I've got three in gold hardware and three in silver, but only up until recently I started getting gold hardware. It just so happened that I was just getting silver and I didn't realize. This one has a really wide strap, which is really good for traveling, but I'll be honest, I don't wear this day to day because it's a bit too chunky. So I mainly just handhold the capucines, which is how I like to wear them. It looked bigger than I thought it was for, for a moment, but this is the BB size. Really practical, great everyday size, I think. Okay, the last two capucines in my collection are the raffia capucines. Now this one is one of my favorites. I know I say that, but with a lot of them, but it really is. Um, I adore this bag. Um, this one is in the larger size in the PM. Normally, I wouldn't think that this is practical, but because this has beachy vibes, because it has holiday vibes, it is great for carting stuff around. So if you're going to the markets, if you've bought little trinkets, you can pop them in here. Um, it also has beautiful tan accents, sort of dark tan. It's quite a dark tan. There is a dark tan strap as well. Let me just pop it out, which is really beautiful. This one has the gold hardware, and I think the gold hardware with the tan just looks magical. I absolutely love it. This one also has the tan at the bottom. It is just a beautiful holiday, relaxed weekend vibe type of bag. I would actually love one of these in a mini or a BB size as well. Just because I love this bag so much and sometimes you just want a smaller bag. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, I don't do that often. Actually, I don't think I've ever done that where I've bought the exact same bag in a smaller size, exact same colorway. Usually I change the colorway for something different, but I'm really itching for a small one of these just because I love it so much. Um, but sometimes a big bag just isn't practical. You guys know what I'm talking about. The very last Capucines in my collection, you guys probably would already have guessed, is my mini Capucines, and that's in this gorgeous little yellow color. It's an orangey yellow. It's kind of like a sun-kissed yellow, um, dark canary yellow. I would say it's more orange than yellow personally, but everyone has their own opinion about this color. I absolutely adore this size. This is becoming one of my favorite sizes in the Capucines. I didn't realize that I would love it so much. I thought it would be way too small for me, but it's not. It's a really nice mini bag. It comes with a really wide strap, which I have to be honest, I don't think the wide strap works for such a small bag. I would have liked to have seen the normal thin strap for the Capucines. Also maybe one with half a chain, like half chain and half strap, I think would have been amazing. Um, this one just has the normal colored lining on the inside that matches the outside. This one is in the silver hardware. So sorry, I was wrong. I only have two bags in the gold. I don't know why, but I thought this one had gold hardware but I'm completely wrong. It is silver hardware, but it is gorgeous. Um, the little feet down the bottom, 
It is such a beautiful bag. I'm completely in love with this color. I've loved it all year. I think this might have been the color of the year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I remember this kind of, you know, dark yellowy orange color last year saying it was a prediction for this year. So I absolutely love this color. I would wear this to death. It goes with what I'm wearing today. It goes with jeans. It goes with neutrals you know if you're thinking wearing tans or camel tones this still works it is amazing so this is not going to be the last mini capucines that i'm going to purchase i do i would like to get a few more in i'm not sure about the color because i've got a pop of color now i probably want to go maybe for a neutral but we'll see i'm sort of looking for one that screams out at me maybe if the new collection comes out there might be one there too I did see actually when I was in the Louis Vuitton store a sparkly one. I'll try and insert a picture on screen of like a sparkly version. I thought, wow, that is amazing. Uh, and I have been contemplating that. So there you go, guys. What did you think of my Capucines collection? Was there a Capucines there that you completely forgot about? And did I inspire you to get any of these Capucines? Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on fashion and handbags. And I'd love for you to head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent over there. We can always start a conversation. I do giveaways, polls, and a hell of a lot more. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.